Enter this website to download software. Click Flash Download Tools to download it. After the download is complete, extract it. After decompression is completed, you will get an .exe file. Double-click to open this software. Here we choose ESP32-S3 as the chip type, developer as the working mode, and serial port as the loading mode. This option selects the location of our firmware. You can download latest factory firmware from Yaboom's website. Address choose 0x0. Choose 80 MHz. Others do not need to be modified. Select the serial port number on computer. Here is COM3. Baud rate select 921,600. Write firmware. After the firmware is written successfully, we can view the firmware version information through the Serial Port Assistant. Select COM3. Baud rate choose 115,200. Open the serial port debugging assistant. And we can see that the firmware version number will be printed out. Now, I erase the firmware. When we check the information output by the serial port again, we will find that the information output by the serial port is different from the firmware version information. We can judge whether the micro Rust control board has firmware through the information printed by the serial port. We rewrite the factory firmware. After written successfully, we can look at the version number 0, 0, 4. If there is no information output when opening the serial port, you can press the reset button on the micro Rust control board. The above are the steps to write factory firmware.